So here we are with the salt and the pepper. Already got the jars prepped, painted. Of course, white for the salt, black for the pepper. Probably could have used a gray pepper or a tannish. I mean, pepper's not completely black. So I'm going to use, as soon as I figure out where I put it, so, after putting that out, some Elmer's Craft Bond. Um, get it at pretty much any Walmart, order it online. And I have P for pepper. S for salt. We'll get those painted up later. For now, we're gonna try to get this salt and pepper to adhere. I haven't done any testing with it. So I think I'm gonna start with the salt though. So let me get some things moved. I have a lot of flyers, so I like reusing and repurposing things. So like I said, we're gonna start with the salt. Just regular old table salt. I mean, you could probably use Himalayan salt, pink salt, black salt. So let me get this. So, we'll start on the bottom and uh, get that loaded up. Kind of go slow, let it get a Let's see if it starts sticking here. Definitely gonna need, looks like two layers, but we'll get the first one put on. I don't know what's gonna happen to the salt because I am going to seal it before epoxying it. And I'm just gonna seal it with my bonding adhesive. Yeah, see, it looks like the adhesive is already starting to, or it's repelling. Yeah. Huh. It's definitely tacky. It's just not sticking. So we're going to try to roll it, press it into it, see if that works. I just don't seem to want to adhere very well. Hopefully the second round will do a little better. You can kind of see, I get the lighting just right. It doesn't want to adhere in some spots. But we're going to give it some more adhesive spray. And this time we're just going to roll it. Salt. Definitely adhering better the second time around. Might do one third time. It does have some sparkle. I don't know if it's going to after I seal it with the bonding adhesive. So we're going to do one more coat. When I put 
the spray on it, but. I think this is going to give it a nice coverage. And again, I'm going to seal it with my crafting bond. A couple spots around the lettering. Tap, tap, tap. So we're going to let this sit. And completely dry then we'll be back to put epoxy on it and see what it looks like put that over in my holder so let's pick up the salt so while i'm in the midst of doing the pepper part or getting it set up don't forget to hit that little button I believe down in this corner over here right about in there i believe um hit that subscribe turn on your notifications give me a like it'll help me get the channel going um it'll help me just in the comments it'll help me determine what content i will be getting into some of my woodworking stuff as soon as it gets a little warmer i got to set up outside in order to do it so here's the pepper Let's see if I can't start by packing that down in I don't have a whole lot of pepper so I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to have enough to cover the whole thing this is just regular ground black pepper you probably could use some coarser pepper the ones you know you grind yourself in the grinder yeah, see, we'll quickly get this picked up. Put back in the cup. It definitely doesn't really look like pepper and the pepper that you'd think. It's definitely very tan. with little black specks. Definitely going to take probably a couple coats to get real nice adhesion. This is more like a fine, if you want to consider between the salt and this. This would be considered a little finer glitter. And the salt would be, I guess you consider it a coarse. So let's give this another spray. Probably should have already had this in the cup. In. We'll start out on the bottom, around the edges. Pat it in, see if that helps. Like I said, this is the first time for me, so it's not really a tutorial, it's more of a what's going to happen. And figure out what works best and what don't. Will I change the way I do it next time? There's a possibility. We'll see how it comes out. So I think I'm going to go one more coat because I do see some bare spot likes right in there. I don't think. No, I think we're going to leave it the way it is. We'll see after I seal it with my spray bond, but let's get the pepper back in the cup in case I do want to. 
add some more it does darken it up spray bond so we are just going to go in lightly just dust Yeah, get down there. Let's see if I can get scoop this up and I think that's gonna be good. I'm going to seal it. So we have salt and pepper so after I put epoxy on I'm not sure if I'm just going to put the word salt and pepper on them or if I, <laughs> I had a thought from back in the 90s group salt and pepper taking a picture of one putting it on the other taking a picture of the other and putting it on like the pepper um, we'll see most likely it's just going to be the lettering let me get set up and we'll be back <clears throat> all right, I'm just about mixed up. I'm all set up with the cups on turners. The spray bond sealed it really nicely. Um, so yeah, we got salt and pepper. I mixed up 40 mLs. I got another little project I've got going on the side. <clears throat> and if there's any extra, I'll use in that. So let me put some glove on. Get the turner spinning. They're both spinning in the direction I like them going. So, pretty sure because this is almost like sandpaper, both of them. That they're gonna take a fair amount of epoxy. So I did warm my epoxy up. So we're back. They've uh, dried overnight. They are very rough, still sandpaperish, as if you put chunky glitter on something. I was going to sand it down, but I think I'm just going to put another layer on to make it smooth because I don't want a bunch of different, you know, sanding the pepper itself and salt. And I'd wet sand, and I don't know how the water would affect the salt. So we're just going to put another layer of epoxy before we put our decals. Of course, salt's going to go somewhere there. Pepper will go over here. I'll have covers for them. So when we come back, we'll uh, put some vinyl on. Here we are. They've been now... It's been close to 24 hours since we uh, put on the second coat of epoxy. Got a fairly smooth surface, coupled bumps here there, but I don't think it's going to affect putting the vinyl on. Um, I got the lids all painted. Salt. Pepper. We are going to put another coat of <clears throat> epoxy on, or I'm going to put another coat of epoxy on after doing vinyl. But I don't think you guys got to sit through all that. You'll get the good idea. I'll give you a close-up after I put the vinyl on of the outcome. The pepper, I could see a different, few different uses. Some sand 
for beach themes if you want a darker sand um a road or tire marks or mud or something on the lines of that the salt you can almost use as snow if you didn't want the like heavy glitter part of it so let's get my uh vinyl all done up here Remove pepper. Stand up for this. Give it a good rub. See how straight it came out. Came out straight. So take this one off my holders. Hopefully it's coming into focus. So I think the sand was, a, I mean the pepper was a success. And yes, it could be used as sand. So now let's do the salt. That a good rub down. Take that off the holder. So there we have it, salt and pepper shakers, using real salt and real pepper, and upcycling in a jar. So go ahead and subscribe, like, turn on your notifications, give it a share, and we'll see you back with our next one.